this video for our science will review what causes air pressure as part of chapter 7, covering objectives 4 and 5. For your notes for this chapter, you should uh, come up with 16 facts for section A, measuring air pressure, 8 more facts, and then 16 more facts for section B is a large section of the chapter, probably one of the most important. A lot of material in the book to review, so make sure you read through it and get your notes put together. Air pressure, uh, to simplify it, is the weight of the air pushing down on top of you. So this diagram shows the Earth, and we see arrows representing gravity's pull. Gravity is the force. Air pressure is what we feel, and really what we measure. We don't really feel it. Okay, and it's equal. The gravity pulls equally around the Earth. So for most of the Earth, the air pressure is relatively stable. It fluctuates high and low as different air masses move in and out. We'll be discussing that in detail as we go through the rest of the, of the weather unit. So the example I gave in class was uh, the example of the power of air pressure, or the forces of it, is if you take a steel train uh, that's used to carry oil, and what they did was they filled it full of extremely hot air. That hot air, as it cooled off, began to take up less and less space. So the air began to contract inside the oil tanker. That allowed the outside air pressure to push in, and the end result was the crushing of that train can. Now it's a steel tanker used to transport oil. You can see how the outside pressure has pushed in, causing the train car to fail. We did that little experiment in class with soda cans. In order to measure air pressure, we use a scale measuring in millibars and in inches, and an instrument used a, you called a barometer. So this scale is in your reference tables, and if you need to convert from millibars to inches, you simply just read from one side of the chart to the other, and that will give you the uh, conversion from one from metric to standard units. One atmosphere, average pressure hovers around here. This is not the entire chart. It goes lower in your reference tables, so you should check out the actual reference tables to see the, the, the full range of air pressures. So air pressure is measured with a barometer. A barometer works by having air pressure push uh, down. If this is a mercury barometer, that air pressure pushes down, and that forces the mercury up into this tube. The height that it goes is the air pressure. This would be marked with levels and be able to gauge the air pressure. The modern version of that is this one, which is an aneroid barometer, which has a small chamber inside that expands and, con and contracts based on the outside pressure. So one way to think about air pressure is the more air you have above you, the greater the pressure will be. If we were standing down here on, on the beach, we would have uh, huge amounts of air above us, reaching all the way to the top of the atmosphere. If, however, we climb to the top of a mountain, we would have less air on top of us, and therefore we'd have less pressure pushing on us. It's simply the weight of the air pushing down on you. Now that air pressure can change based on a couple of factors. Altitude, like we just saw. Temperature, as the temperature of the Earth increases, the air, it becomes less dense and begins to rise, like a hot air balloon. That less dense air rising pushes down on the ground with less force and gives you less pressure. Humidity, as it increases, the air pressure also decreases. Every water molecule replaces an air molecule, and on the molecular level, water weighs less than air. One little molecule of H2O weighs less than one big molecule of nitrogen. So you add more water, and the air weighs less. If the air weighs less, then it will be pushing down with less force, and therefore the pressure will decrease. So overall, air pressure is the weight of the air. And standard pressure on Earth is on sea level is about 15 pounds per square inch. In your science reference tables, you'll find the conversion chart. Altitude, temperature, humidity can all affect air pressure. Hope this video was helpful, and see you in class.